The National Gallery of Victoria, or NGV, was established in 1861 in Payan, freshwater country of the Kulin Nation, one of 33 Indigenous peoples who are traditional owners of Victoria. Indigenous Australian art, the world's longest continuous artistic tradition, is the most recent of the NGV's diverse collections, beginning in earnest in 1984. In that time, we have developed a preeminent collection of almost 3,000 works that is unique in its focus on communities of artists rather than individuals and has a strong contemporary emphasis. This diverse living art form, the last to impose itself on the international stage, has evolved from the world's oldest continuous art tradition it has made its mark in Australia and internationally, not as a replication, but as a dramatic transformation of objects and designs formally made for use in customary ritual contexts. Despite its ancient origins, the art of Indigenous Australia remained little known and appreciated beyond its immediate communal audience until well into the 20th century. Prior to contact with non-Indigenous people, the main locus of Indigenous art was ceremony. It was made to be seen and used in closed contexts by members of specific cultural groups and then erased or left to the elements. Indigenous Australia is comprised of as many as 250 different peoples, speaking a mix of mutually unintelligible and closely related dialects and languages. Its classic forms of artistic expression, painting, three-dimensional sculpture, and ephemeral designs made in ceremonial contexts differ markedly between language groups and clans across Australia and through time. These cultural differences make it impossible to generalise from one group, iconographic tradition, art style, community or region to another. The generic notion of Aboriginal art therefore exists as a construct of which the art of Papunyatula, Balgo, Bidjadunga, Warman, Utopia, Nuka, Manangrida, Yirikala, or the Tiwi Islands are but tiny constructed parts, less important than the art of particular language groups and the bodies of work of leading individual artists. Yet despite this complex diversity, Aboriginal people throughout Australia share a fundamental belief in what has been translated as the dreaming, meaning a higher order, a foundation of being which informs their spiritual and social identity. In order to deal with the complexity of Aboriginal Australia and its diversity of art and culture, we will introduce you to seven sub-themes. The Southeast, Arnhem Land and the Tiwi Islands in the top end. The Kimberley, the Western Desert, tradition and transformation, metropolitan centres and far north Queensland and the Torres Strait. The current art of Indigenous Australia is a powerful and mesmerising art form that continues to unfold. <laughs>